Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to do a twin flame video on sex. Um, pretty much like when you're not having sex with your twin flame and you're having sex with other people, like what's really actually going on? Because a lot of people don't know. And if you don't know, then it's kind of, it, you should know. So pretty much like a sacred, uh, sex is a sacred union. It's two people coming together as one, technically. Um, so you don't really want to put an energy into sex as a one night stand or just fucking or you know like getting pounded rough sex like pulling hair getting choked like that like this that and the other thing like that's the energy that you're putting into a sacred union with somebody I just want to let you know that every time you have sex with a certain person every person that they have fucked you now have in you all their trauma everything it's like eating meat you know, like if you eat a hamburg or steak, you're actually eating the the trauma that that animal went through from the torture, from the feedings to make them be big or, you know, um, so they, you know, they slaughter them and then they sell them. You know what I mean? Like, so the way that they treat them while they're there before they get slaughtered and then they get slaughtered, you're eating that in that meat. That's why I don't, I don't know, I like never eat meat. Like literally, I like never eat meat. There's like some things that like, it's hard, like a cheeseburger, it's hard for me not to eat that because I like hamburg or American chop suey, you know, like, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really eat, I, even when I make my kids steak, I don't ever, I'll have a piece to try it. But I'll, I won't ever have my own steak. Um, I'll give it to the dog if there's an extra one. But anyways, um, yeah. So when you're having sex with somebody, you're actually bringing into a relationship with every person that you have sex with and adding their trauma and their bullshit and their people. Think about that. So it's like you really got to think about who you, who you have sex with because you're bringing all their people and them inside of you and they can their energy can consume you and that's why we have to do clearing a lot of the times because that's what happens people's energy rubs off of us or is in us and in order to heal our sexual energy our sacral chakra our relationships our emotions our fertility like it's a womb clearing in the sacral chakra it also comes from forgiveness and um resentment your emotional regulation so it's really important to do i know how to do that for people i know how to clear energy for people you don't even need to be near me i can be on zoom and do it with you i don't even need to be on the phone with you i don't need to have anything on like i don't need to have anything i can just be like bam you're cleared like literally like i've done it so many times and that's just a gift that i have but it's like you need to realize that sex is a sacred union. So when twin flames come to a point where they're more in the 5D rather than the 3D, they're not in the material, physical world anymore. They're more in the 5D world that's uh, not seen. It's um, the unknown kind of. Um, it's your thoughts. It's, your, it's what's inside your head. It's what you're thinking. It's what it is. And then it turns into your 3D reality. But... For twin flames, you become kind of asexual before union because you realize as a spiritual being an extension of unconditional love for yourself because that's what the whole entire twin flame journey is about is finding unconditional love for yourself. You are your own twin flame and your twin flame physical reality human being is a catalyst for your healing because they everything that you get upset about that you get triggered from them is something that needs to be healed so you need to see that so you need to see the patterns you need to see the patterns of what they do and how you're responding and then you have to heal and change that <laughs> sorry my maintenance guy Danny he's like he's drive they drive little golf courts because this place is like huge and so, like, he's just, like, drumming on, like, his steering wheel. It was just funny. It was cute. But anyways, I love Danny. He's he's, he's a good guy. But, um, so, 
yeah, you, you kind of, you realize like there's no more lust. It's not lusting over somebody. It's more like you want to make love to them. You want to touch them in certain ways that isn't lustful. It's, it's like passion. It's, it's irresistibility. It's like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's like you can't keep your hands off of each other but again not in a lustful like way it's in a loving way it's in a you know I can't explain it but it's not lustful it's not I'm gonna pound you I'm gonna fucking rip you like rip your hair like you're I'm gonna gag you like I'm gonna fucking oh my god I dog oh he farted um but yeah it's it's not like that but remember any person that you and, and that's another thing, like, if you love your twin flame unconditionally, you won't have sex with other people because you don't want to harm them with other people coming into them. You know what I mean? So, like, I could go fuck a bunch of people right now, you know? I don't have the the energy for it. I don't want to. But if I did, I could. And if I did, it would be really easy to. And if I did, I would be bringing all of that person's people and trauma into me. And then if I didn't clear it or whatever, and it wasn't a sacred union with that person, and then I, you know, see my twin flame and I have intimacy, like sexual, whatever with him... I'm literally bringing every single fucking person that I just fucked, and it would be fucking, you know, in, and I'm putting it into my twin flame, and he doesn't deserve that. Like, I'm not going to do that to him. So, you also kind of realize that, that you're not going to do that to your twin flame, because you're just hurting them. But then you got to remember, you mirror each other, so you're still hurting yourself if you don't clear it. Either way, you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to get affected by it because your your mirrors, you share the same energy. So it's like, you also have to remember that, like everything that you do in a twin flame relationship, it bounces back to the other person. So it's like, okay, I need to stop being like this. I need to stop being like this. I need to do this. I need to do that. And it's like, no, you're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for your twin flame to benefit from it and to mirror it and to heal you know and change within themselves because it's better it's better for them to you know especially if they do certain things that just aren't healthy for them you know you change it within yourself first and then you'll start seeing them change within them so like this is what you do okay i put i just put this in a video earlier the worst advice somebody can give you is find somebody that will love you more than they love themselves. No. Horrible advice. Best fight advice is write a list down of how you want a partner to be and become it. Becoming that list will attract a person of that list. If you have a twin flame, I'm not saying they're, they're only going to come when they're able to fulfill your list. So if they're not coming yet, you can't be mad at them because that's their journey of finding themselves. You can't get involved in that. You can't take them away from that. So what you have to do is find love within yourself so they are able to bring more love within themselves to be able to speed the process up. But they have to do it at their own pace. You need to leave them alone. And you need to let them do them. So you have your list. Okay? Work on yourself. You have your list. Become your list. And they will become your list. Because you're becoming that list. So they automatically become that kind of list. And they're doing it the same with you. Like, if they want to be better for you. Men don't commit unless they want to be good for a woman they don't unless you have an immature kind of thing but if there's a real man 
he will work himself up to be a better man for a, girl, a woman. And that's real commitment. And if your twin flame is off and you don't know what's going on, let them be. Because if the more healing you do, the more trust you can have within yourself and within them. Because you know what you're doing, right? You know what you're doing. You know what you're healing. You know that whatever you are healing is a mirror of what they're healing. So you know if you can trust yourself, you can trust them. That's what it really comes down to. If you can trust yourself, then you can trust them. If you can feel safe, they will feel safe with you. But it all comes within you first. Okay. It was only supposed to be about sex, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.